Welcome back everyone. It is a bluebird day up in Shetland, which is unheard of and we had them for quite a while. Uh, I'm not myself, I've actually been joined by um, Arthur from the Wild Order who took the plunge and done the mammoth journey all the way from England up here in one day. Um, so yesterday we've been trout fishing just so he has time to get sea legs because today we've cracked the thundercat out and we're going to go out for a mission. Um, got fishing rod, we've got spear guns, we're just going to go for a bit of a jolly, see what the seas are doing because it's my first time out this year properly. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing, engine's been looked at so we should be sweet. So there's only one thing for it, time to get in this bad boy and get going. Boat's uh, been lowered down, got the important job of making sure he doesn't crash it. Don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. Neither does Josh by the looks of things. Oh, there we go, straining up. Boat in, absolutely no dramas, promise. She's all warmed up, it's time to go. I'm super pumped up to be out right now. First day of the season, best weather. Arthur's not done much street diving and spear fishing. You say that. So, uh, he might be a lucky charm. I have to take him out some more missions. But we're gonna go out, uh, take it easy, and show Arthur what the real Shetland's got to offer. Um, Cause it's pretty special up here. taken Arthur to one of my favorite spots in Shetland. This is Isla Bressa and this is a lighthouse at the south end of the island. It's got a beautiful archway but it also has one of my favorite diving sites, an old Russian fishing boat just sitting in the shallows. Unfortunately the viz was not the best when you got to the bottom. I'm guessing that the slight swell has just lifted the silt to making it a little bit eerie down there. But I still gave it a good look, but no signs of any fish. To be fair, I could only see just in front of my hand. There's a different reason that I love diving wrecks like this. Usually when I start out on my missions, it's a good way to just warm up the lungs. Not really looking or hunting for anything too intensively. I'm just going down to do some diving and it just gets me warmed up for when I'm in hunt mode and I'm wanting to hunt those deeper spots or just push the limits in hunting the wreck. It just is a really nice way to warm up and there's some pretty cool stuff to look at. headed along the coast which in itself is just truly amazing. Being able to dive underneath cliffs this big with the fulmers also known as mallies just cruising about soaring in the winds is incredible. 
But I took Arthur to one of my favourite little spear fishing spots where I have shot a lot of fish in the shallows. It's a slight bomby reef with big rocks holding a lot of kelp and the fish coming in between. I dived down and I actually seen a decent fish out the corner of my eyes which I was surprised at really because it's still very early in the season. I gave it my best shot to try and get back onto it but no luck. And after a good few more dives we still didn't see any fish. The viz was a little bit milky but with that we kind of just thought it's time for an adventure so let's just keep pushing on and seeing what's around the coast. <laughs> I've seen these spots countless times. I've been diving here a good few years now and I've regularly visited these places. And I sometimes forget actually how amazing it is. But seeing it through someone's eyes who's only seen this for the first time really makes you appreciate how lucky you are to actually be doing this stuff. Diving under the cliffs, just having fun in your boat. It's pretty incredible really. So we've been doing a bit of fishing. We managed to hook the seabed pretty much instantly with the big lures. Um, so we lost our gear there. And we've been fishing for maybe half an hour now, but we're getting a bit hungry. So we're actually, we've also been watching another boat catch a load of fish and we've caught nothing. Birds are not eating any of our spoils. Um, we're gonna head over to the Isle of Nos in between Ressa. Um, Brasser and Nos and we're gonna go find a cave that we can have a brew in or a cup of tea um, which is the same thing and uh, have a bit of a chill because we've been on the sea a fair bit now and in the sea and maybe just get some land on our legs plus it's a mega place and I can't wait to show Arthur so we've come to the caves I don't know if you can see in the background um, but it's just slightly swelly and choppy here. I don't know if you can see all this coming in. Um, so we're going to give it a miss because I don't really want to be angry at the boat in this. I'm trying to get into the cave. I've done it before on the calm days where it's nice and easy and it's just not worth it when it's a bit choppy like this and some swell coming in. But we're going to go sit in the sun on the beach and have a sit down there instead and have a brew. Um, and we're going to go for scallops instead of fish. Uh, we're going to scallop on the way home because it's a bit choppy here. Still a bit early. I've seen one fish today, and scallops don't swim away. So if we can find them, we can get them. The fish we're not having much luck with. So some scallops on the barbecue is what we're planning. So we've come to the beach, it's pretty incredible, look at that. We're currently at the northest point, uh, the most northerly point of the UK. I mean, almost closer to Norway. And I think um, Arthur realised he's made a good choice in his travelling. Blown away. Epic. It's actually warm. The sun, up there. It's actually warm. I'm so excited. <laughs> Digging in to the new cool bag or esky bag. Set up from the boys at Spear Fishing UK, Mares. I highly recommend this thing. It's pretty badass. Um, 33 liters and I've had stuff ice ice for two days, which is brilliant when you're doing some missions like this and it's all waterproof seams and everything. So we're now gonna get stuck into the nice cold stuff in there.
attempt to get back in the wetsuit and we're gonna go and have a bit of a play um, where we've just driven through in between the two islands because the water is so clear and it's just beautiful diving there basically and then we're gonna punch it round to hopefully some fruitful scallop spots so time to get the wetsuits back on even though it's gonna be a bit of a shock to the system because that sun is pretty hot I forget quite often, especially when going out on these adventures, is the whole idea is to go out and have fun. And usually when I'm like paranoid that I need to get some footage or content, I kind of forget about that. So every now and then you just have to go in and just have a blast, make an idiot of yourself underwater and just play about because at the end of the day, that's why we're there. We do it because we love it and we love being in the water. And as one thing I say to everyone, just go in there and don't take yourself seriously and just have fun. You'll become a lot happier from it and with that, your diving improves a lot. So just playing about like this, I feel makes a world of difference. I would like to go and shoot fish though, but maybe next time. We did however get a cool little sight in of this seal just before we hopped out. But it was time to jump in the boat cross those tropical waters and fingers crossed we can find a scallop. sightings were not the best. I've been here before and they were a bit light on the ground but I still found them. Today they were even light on the ground but I managed to get one and when I headed back to Arthur he came flying up to surface with his first ever hand caught scallop. To see the excitement on his face was truly amazing. Well that's pretty much the day done. We're back just before the boat ramp, chilling out. We didn't find too many scallops and we definitely tried. <laughs> you lost a battle with a crab. Did lose a battle with a crab. But there's lessons done there. Apparently you can lose your fingers. Crabs have claws and they hurt. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get the boat out. It's been an incredible day. Uh, we've still got a bit to cook up. We've got some deer to cook up at home. So I might film a bit of that. I'm not sure. If not, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope Arthur's enjoyed his first ever Shetland experience. Killer day. Speechless. He's, he's been, been blessed. I've never seen weather like this. For the, We've had it for two, three days now, so it's been pretty epic. So yeah, we've um, Arthur's up here for a couple more days, so I'm pretty sure we can get some cool stuff. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it because it was an incredible day for us. Yo! Stay tuned guys, because we put in a lot of effort just to get the boat in to go and see some insane sights. We've got islands that looks like drinking horses, some incredible caves where we have lunch, and we even finish it off with a nice little barbecue at the end. So stay tuned, because it's going to be a big one. <laughs>